Hey guys, it's the Walkin Zero Zero Dead here with another quick little pickup that I got today from work, and it's uh, the Ruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storms Generations, and it's on the Xbox 360. It costs me uh, 33.99 where I work, and uh, also what you get with it is you get um, like this booster pack of cards from the Sage Legacy like series, and you get like eight cards, and uh, from what I understand from reading it, it unlocks some like exclusive like game content. So. That should be pretty cool. Uh, with the game also, you get like story mode, you get like free battle, you get like a tournament like match sort of mode, you get like training, and then you get like a survival like battle mode. And uh, the game also has got over like 70 like playable Naruto characters, which is quite a lot of characters. Not as much as like uh, the Dragon Ball Z games, but you know, 70 characters is pretty sweet. And also you get like never before seen like anime content that reveals, you know, your favorite like ninjas, like backstories and like secrets and some really cool stuff. So, uh, going to show you a close-up of the actual box itself so let's check out the case guys so on the front cover you've got like uh, Naruto from Naruto Shippuden and then you've got Sasuke as well and then you've got like younger Naruto with the uh, Rasengan and then you've got a younger Sasuke with like the Chidori and then you've got like the logo of like young Naruto and older Naruto like linking arms so that's pretty cool And on the back, you've got like more than 70 characters playable, and then you've got like the Ataski, and you know, like the Rai Kage, and you've got like Jiraiya, the Yellow Flash, and the second Hokage, and the first Hokage, and Kakashi, a load of cool badass characters. Oh, bit zoom in, there you go. And you've got Zabuza fighting like Kakashi, and you've got Naruto doing an awesome attack there. So, it's the back. Pretty sweet front cover on the disc. This has got like Naruto and older Naruto linking arms like on the front. And then on the booklet, you've got like Naruto in uh, QB mode. That looks pretty awesome. That looks pretty sweet. Nothing particularly too special inside it. You've got all the head bosses there. Well, bosses, you know what I mean. The leaders of the village. You know, nothing special in the book. Um, and then you also get this, uh, like, sage booster pack of cards. Which has got a pretty cool little shiny picture of the root on it. It's pretty cool. Show you the cards I got. No idea if they're good or bad. So, this one I've got, like, the Nine Tail Fox. Some randoms in there, I don't know who they are. Then, like, some crappy water style thing. I didn't really get any decent cards in this, which kind of suck. And then I got Zetsu. And this old woman, I think she's one of the leads of the. I can't remember who she is, to be honest with you. And they've got Karen. You got Kabuto. And you got that weird thing. And that's all the cards that I got. Didn't get anything really cool. I was hoping maybe I'll get like a Toby or an Itch uh, Atachi or you know a Kakashi. Someone decent, but you know, never mind. Um so drop me a comment down below guys. Uh what are your thoughts on the game if you're like from America and you've you know you've already had it for like a couple of weeks now? And uh, what character will you guys be using, and uh, who's the best character to use? And uh, if you want to play me on Xbox Live, you know, send me a private message and give me a gamer tag, or I'll give you my gamer tag or whatever. And uh, if you just found my stuff and you like it, you know, please subscribe and uh, give us the thumbs up for Naruto. So cheers for watching, guys. See you next time.